Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so we are at Libra now. So Libra moon, Libra um, sun and Libra rising. Uh, weekly tarot reading, um, July 29th to August 4, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And we're gonna jump uh, right into it. So the first card which stands for the topic for a Libra week, this is going to be the hangman, followed by the second card which represents the challenges that you need to overcome Libra, we do have a person here, and that is to be the uh, knight of swords, followed by the third card which represents the positive aspect of the week, and um, this is going to be the uh, ten of cups, and the last one which uh, stands for the uh, guidance that Saru is offering to you. Uh, we do have the Queen of Swords. So it's pretty much a, um, a a state when the universe itself is gonna put you brakes, right? Or is going to press your brakes. Uh, for a reason being, it's just that you are asking for way too much, at least according to these cards, all right? It's, uh, it's simply right now what the time is, um, is favorable about is to just you know hold on for a second and just look around to see how blessed you are and how fortunate you are you know and uh, I recently uh, watched a, a bodybuilding motivation and there was that guy there who said you know people always look around and they wish to be like the person next to them but what they do not understand is how fortunate they are if they are healthy. I mean, health is in an extreme blessing, all right? When you are healthy, you can't conquer the world. While if you are not, nothing can buy you health. That is just an, an example, guys. But in this, uh, in this narrative and in this framework is how the reading goes and moves along. That is for the reason being is that we do have the hangman here. Let's run down the cards one more time before we scrutinize them. Um, the hangman is the topic followed by the uh, king, the knight of swords, which represents the challenges. Afterwards is the Ten of Cups, which stands for the positive aspect. And then the last one here is going to be the Queen of Swords, which is the, uh, the, the guidance. So the Hangman here stands for a delays, you know, an incapability to, to, to have it your way, for example. It's, it's a, a week of testing simultaneously a breakthrough, and it's not necessarily a breakthrough into a direction that you want to go in it at the start of the week but it is most likely a, a changing of a direction that you want to go at because this week is meant to change your perspective upon the world upon your life upon your relationship upon your career as well so you can realize that there are more substantial things than those that you are striving toward at this very moment the accompanied card here is going to be the two of pentacles the formation it is a, a passive friends. So um, 
with the two of pentacles there are two ways how we can see it at that point it is that either your original plan whatever that that plan is you know or your original vision for how you should move on from now on moving into the future it's it's a futile and it needs a, a drastic change in its strategy you know or you know or you are unwilling to accept the new circumstances or those circumstances which are going to make you feel better it's going to make your life more easier and etc etc if i have to give you an example all right um it's a bit difficult to give you a, a straight away of um, a pretty clear example but let's say that you're struggling financially all right your family wants to help you but for one or another reason you don't want them to help you probably you are holding a grudge for them all right you may hold a grudge for them and there is no need for you to struggle you know only thing that you need to do is just change your original perspective and allow your family to help you it's all that it it, it it is needed to be to be done it may not be that simple for some of you though it may be that uh, let's say that you and uh, your wife are in a serious fight and that relationship is re is hitting the rock bottom and here what it is needed it is actually you to see the things from a different perspective maybe from a perspective that there is no reason to fight for for that thing because it's unsubstantial you know and now you have to focus more on the adaptability of how you can fix the things instead of how you can take them down and how you can destroy them so the point here is that you need to be um ready throughout this week you know to change your perspective on a 180 degrees because this is your breakthrough and simultaneously the test that you need to go through the accompanied not the accompanied but the next card it is the challenge here and we do have a person king knight of swords i need another card to see what that is all about so the uh, that looks like that someone is waiting on you it's waiting on a, some sort of a um a decision for you to make on an approval approval for you to give them and they're gonna press really hard even though you may not feel ready to say yes i'm gonna do it you know or no i don't want to do it that could be for example a some sort of a, a business offer let's say and they're pressing you to say yes while you are not very now as your perspective is starting to change you know you're not very sure now should you want to do it all right you may want to need more warranties or insurances that actually what they are asking you to do it's uh it's going to be a beneficial and above everything else you know it's going to serve your purpose because for what it seems with the knights of swords they are very tunnel vision people what i mean is that they don't see beyond their own restrictions and for that reason you know uh, this it's not that like the, that knight is making the things on purpose <clears throat> but such structured endeavor either career or relationship wise in this in this shape it serves them most than serves you so that will be the challenge here to withstand you know the the, the push or the bruising of the knights of swords to uh, give them either a um, uh, to do something for them you know or to give them some sort of a decision that you will have to make and etc etc so the next card which stands for the positive aspect of the week for you libra it is the ten of cups and it is what we talked about at the start of the reading you don't you probably have no idea at the start of the week how blessed you actually are you know and this week while you face all these setbacks delays uh futile efforts and etc etc you will start become to realize you know how much joy you can have in such established life that it is around you right now if you will you know you can be joyful for that you are healthy for example or you can be joyful that you do have a job here we are talking about all these um blessings which one can find sanctuary in uh, that could be even if you own your house okay so what i'm trying to um, uh, implicate here it is that you need to see the world in much more um, simplistic manner 
okay at least according to uh to this reading and that is the purpose of your week here to see the world in more simplistic manner the accompanied card here is going to be the eight of swords the formation it is a, a passive um passive neutrals and as simply that will widen your world okay um, things that you have thought previously that have no purpose whatsoever now you're gonna find their purpose here we're talking about seeing yourself much outside of the box or rather like bursting your own bubble destroying your own restrictions that you have self-imposed to yourself okay and uh <clears throat> After this process is, is done, after you undergo that ordeal, uh, it does look like that you're going to enjoy life more than ever that you have enjoyed it before if that if that makes sense you know i don't know i don't know if i made it if i said it a um, grammatically correct but i hope that you get what i mean here that you know that the life is going to be much more brighter much more dappled with with, with opportunities and, and with colors as well so uh, that being said, Libra, don't be way too serious, guys, throughout the week. Just try to enjoy yourself. It's it's all that it takes. If something isn't working out throughout the week and you're trying desperately to push it forward, that's, just leave it aside. Don't bail on it, you know, but leave it aside and probably in a couple of weeks or in a three weeks is going to resolve itself on its own accord because that is usually how the hangman works. Uh, and the last card, it is the... Um, Queen of Swords. So that is the guidance here. So the Queen of Swords, it is a person, you Libra, which are in with their with their feet in the future. What I mean is that it's very emancipating person. It's it's a and you have to be such a person. You know that being said, you will have to or if necessary, that is, you will have to let go of of concepts that does not serve you any purpose throughout the week of uh, August. Uh, July 29 to August uh, 4, 2019. Additionally to that, with uh, this queen, uh, it does look like that you will have the, uh, the, the, the clear mind to, uh, to push a lot of things through, but not these which are facing delays. Now, what I, I will try to explain you what I mean here. So you are going to start relying more on your um, past experience rather than on uh, the current situation, all right? Or you are going to see the current situation from your past experience, therefore, through your biased uh, uh, vision now, you will pretty much be able to foresee what is coming and therefore take a, a precautionary measures for it. And the last card here is going to be the uh, full card formation. It is a... Um, active supporters so as i said emancipating person someone who is very in tune with the future with what is going on around them and it's capable to adapt to the situation well a um <clears throat> like we said and you are to obtain a new perspective here well that perspective with the world with the uh, full card here at the end is going to pretty much surprise you i mean probably something that you uh denied up until this very moment that it is even in an option available all right and now you will start start considering it even more and more as the only option available throughout this week, uh, July 29th to August uh, 4th, 2019. So that being said, Libra, this was your uh, weekly tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.